sharing information with others within a team's environment is often dependent on us putting in links to different information. So today we're going to review how to put in a link from a SharePoint environment to a specific file. And then we're going to go ahead and look at how to do that for external files as well. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. So let's go ahead and open up Teams. And here I'm inside of a chat area, right? So I've selected Teams here. Here you see general, right? Here's, here are my posts, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I went here to my documents, right? I just opened up SharePoint, clicked on documents. And here I'm just going to say add new, okay? So, excuse me, not add new. Notice I have the document here that's talking about adding things. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the URL itself and click on copy. Now I can also go here to share and say copy the link here. Okay. And if I click on this guy here, I can define what I want that person to do here. I'm just going to say anybody with the link. Well, I can't do that. Well, the reason why I can't do that is because this is blocked at the corporate level. So just be aware that sometimes this will be blocked and it won't, it won't allow you to share a link with others external. So we're just going to say here. And we're going to allow people within lushadvisors.com to do that. And we're going to allow them to edit. Okay. And then we're going to just hit apply. Now it's going to automatically create a link for me. I'm just going to hit copy. And then I'm going to go over to my Teams environment. Let's say this is a Teams environment that I'm sharing information with. And I'm just going to hit Control V. Now when I hit Control V, it's going to add the um, URL for me. Now I could also instead of control V, I could do a right click here and I could say paste. And notice that it already kind of captures the URL for me in something that's a little easier to read. Okay. Instead of a long URL. So let's go ahead and see what that URL looks like. And you can see it highlighted there underneath. But I'm going to hit control K on my keyboard. Control K. Now, Control K is um, is how you open up a hyperlink insert command within most Microsoft products. So here, notice that I can change that. That and so I'm going to say, um, see the document at um, we'll just say hardware. So I can name this and software discussion. We can name it whatever we want and hit insert. Notice here I have the URL. Okay, I'm going to say insert. Pretty simple. Now, when they click on that, it's going to automatically go to that document. So that's pretty easy. Then we just hit send. Now, we can also add, and notice it embeds it here. By the way, um, I don't have to have that. So if I, again, paste that in, I could take this image out if I wanted to and just click go. And it's going to work the same way. And when I click on that, it's going to automatically open it up in Viewer. And then I can go ahead and open that up in Word or download or do whatever I want. Okay. This is video isn't about that. Okay. So, so that's that. That's how you do that. Now let's embed a link to another application. So let's say here we've got to open up Teams again. And remember, I'm using the web version of Teams because it's kind of a common denominator. So we're going to go ahead and go back into our chat. And here again, we could do it as a group chat, but I think we had a team is where we were on drop. There you go, right there. So we're going to go ahead and add another one. So let's go ahead and add one for a power app. So I'm going to click on there. Notice here we have a power app address. We're going to hit copy, copy that URL. And then we're going to go back to Teams and we're going to say, see the app at see the and i'm going to leave it blank application okay so i'm going to go back right about there i'm going to hit control v control v is victor or i can go to paste i'm just going to paste now notice that that url comes in as a long url and it didn't change so now i'm going to highlight that url the complete url i'm going to hit Control K. Control K, now notice 
that it says the text, right? Right here, text to display. And the address is right here. So I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to say CV um, Power App Note Application. Okay, let me make the insert. Now, notice that it, it gives us a link. And we're good to go. We can do that with literally anything that we want. Now it's nice and clean. We just click on that bad boy, and there it goes. Okay. So sometimes you want the URL inside of the document. You know, like if you're creating a document, for example, and you know people want to read this, but honestly, is somebody really going to type that in? I don't think so. So you could copy it as well. So. That's as simple as it is to add URLs inside of Teams. And this, by the way, applies if you're using um, Outlook or any, pretty much any Microsoft product, this trick works for all.